Hey guys, it's Lewis here, and today I'm giving you a quick tutorial on GIMP. If you don't do, do not know what GIMP is, GIMP is a photo manipulation program. It is um, completely free, rather like Photoshop, but probably easier to use. So here we go. I'm going to show you how to make a sunrise effect. So first, you're going to click on File. And you're going to click on New because you want to make a new project. I'm making mine 1920 by 1080. Doesn't really matter what you want. So click OK. Now you want to change your foreground color to whatever you want. I'm having it in this red, and your background color needs to be in black or well, whatever color you want, really. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to want to go on to Filters distorts and blinds then you want like vertical and a sec sorry done that wrong so what you want to do is you want to click on edit and fill with foreground colour or FG colour um, you then want to go on filters then you go on uh, distorts and blinds like that now I've had mine on 57 uh, for displacement and number of segments 13 you can really do whatever you like, but I suggest having quite a lot, well, not too many, but quite a lot, because not having that many is, is not quite right. So just let it load here, and here you go. So now you see you've got these blinds, which look do look quite nice. So, um, But then you want to go again onto filters, distorts, and polar coordinates. Then you will see it probably there. But all you want to do is drag it back down here, and then you have it like this. So there's pretty much it's done. But now I'm going to show you how to make it even better. So I'm going to drag in this image here. I'll leave a description to this image and the editing software. And so with this image, you're going to click on color. You click on colorize. Just want to bring the hue up there so it goes red. Okay, so once you've done this now, you want to go onto layers over here and click on uh, multiply. And as you can see now, that is kind of blended in. So now I want to obviously make this bigger. Forgot about that. So 1920. Right, 10, 80. Also, if you're having trouble with this when you're scaling it, it's not scaling properly, what you need to do is just click up the arrows there, that, and scale. So now I'm just going to centre it, so that's all there. Click on it, and then you can centre it perfectly. So here, you might think that's a bit too dark, like, a bit too full on for you. So you might just want to drag it down a bit so it's a little, little less obvious. Um a sec, sorry, did that wrong. Make sure you clicked on this top one instead, and then drag that down. So I'm gonna have it there because I think that looks really really nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will probably give you some more game tutorials if you like this one. Um, I'll maybe give you a 3D text tutorial because they're, they're pretty fun to do. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you, don't forget to leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos like this. Gaming videos, uh, reviews on gaming tech, and just general tech videos because this is like tech for the win. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.